What's up, y'all? We back, and I'm downtown in one of the most popular gyms in the city. I got one of the best trainers in the city. Terrell Law. What's going on today, sir? Oh, man, in the gym as usual, just grinding, just perfecting my craft. As you should, as you should. Heard you got a fight coming up. Well, uh, one of your fighters got a fight coming up. Uh, yeah, yeah, we got the uh, three-time Olympian, Rashid Warren. He uh, fight August 20th in Miami. Oh, yeah, that's what's up. Y'all ready? Oh, yeah, more than ready. So how was camp? A breeze. Dada, you know, but, but you, but you know it, it's always things to work on, but it's been great. Oh, yeah. So, you know, um, source came out there, you know, Adrian Bronner ain't fighting due to mental health. Uh, yeah, um, I can't do nothing but keep him in my prayers. Everybody else, keep him in your prayers. Keep him uplifted, you know, because it's real serious, you know. Like, you never know what that man going through, but it is what it is, though. But Rashid Warren ready. He's still fighting on the card, though, oh, yeah, right? the show must continue, for yeah. sure. That's what's up. That's what's up. So, what have y'all been doing to be getting ready for this this fight coming up this Saturday? I was just working on technique, just uh, fixing our mistakes. You know, a lot of a lot of cardio, building the gas tank up, and sitting down on our shots. You know. So, what made you start? You know, becoming a trainer. Oh, uh, uh, I started like in 2012. Well, I didn't even think I'd be doing this. But I got a call from one of my old boxing coaches, uh, Two Steel, Sean Singleton. He called me and asked that I want to coach. When I came down there, that's 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 where it started. And I just been there ever since. I started out working with kids, but I was just in the gym every day perfecting my craft and this is where I'm at now. So did you use the box when you was younger? Yep. I started boxing in two thousand like two thousand four. What weight class? You remember? My weight classes was up and down. I think my first weight class was like 106. Then I went to like 112. At what age you was at 106? <laughs> like you've been <laughs> a big like, boy your whole life. Probably like I had my first fight at like 12. At 12, you was fighting at 106. At 12 years old, I was still fighting like 80. 
But look, the weight <laughs> just, the weight started transferring. Like yeah. I went from 106, 112, 115, 118. Shot up to 125. I was fighting like 160 at 15. What gym did you start it from? I started at Millville. Oh yeah, who was the coach? Uh, two steel. Nah, yeah, two steel. It, it was a lot of coaches. Two steel, Coach Levi, Mike, people like that. That's what's up. Oh, Mike Stafford, Adrian yeah, Ronan coach. Stafford, yeah. Oh, so you got some good. You got some good help in your corner. Then, nah, huh? for sure. I definitely got a lot of wisdom on my side. I, and I and I and I think that's what make me who I am, cause it's like I took a piece out of everybody's book. You know what I'm saying? So and I just uh put it into what I do. That's what's up. That's what's up. So what makes what motivated you to um you know really turn into a uh every pound count vision fitness and coach? Uh, just going through things like I had this you know running across different people seeing how people ran their stuff and I just had to establish my own name and my own foundation. That's what's up. So um any other boxers? Reagan, Rashid Warren, Robert Easter Jr., Devin Alexander, uh Quayshawn Toller, AJ Bennett, Daniel Long. I pretty much work with everybody in the city. Wait, 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 let's slow it down. Did you say Duke Reagan, the the recent silver Oh yeah the recent medal yeah 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 Olympian. Duke Reagan. Yeah, man, I've been at it for years, for years. I wish him nothing but the best as well, too. Yeah, he just fought well. Looked, he looked, he looked real good. He just oh, was it last weekend? Was it last weekend? Yeah, I think it was last weekend. Yeah, about last weekend. He looked real good though. Yeah, he been fighting. Shout out to Duke, man. He been fighting all good opponents. You know, a lot of these other guys. You know, in the beginning of their career, they always fighting. We gonna call them lesser opponents, but. The For world sure. might call them bombs, but we just gonna call them lesser opponent. But yeah. Duke been in there with some tough guys, and he still you could tell, I could tell because I know how you train and and the difference from you know his other trainers that he got some of the Tehran you know skill set in him. For and sure, it's most yeah. definitely showing, and For I know sure. he appreciate all the hard work you you, you giving to him. So For that's sure. that's what's up, man. I salute you on that. Nah, for sure. We chop time to time, and that's what I be trying to get people to understand. Duke ain't fighting like no cab drivers. He coming out the gate fighting top tier people. We might not have heard of them, but they they really about something, and it shows in the ring. And I like how Duke, you know, what I'm saying, just um, I like how he, I I just like how he act under pressure. He's he remain humble under pressure, and he stick to the game plan. Man, shout out to Duke. So you people, a lot of people don't. A lot of people don't understand the difference between coaches and trainers. A lot of people think they come one and one. So right now, would you consider yourself a coach or a trainer? I I, I consider myself a mixture. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm I'm I I consider myself a mixture. I can't keep myself in a box. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm a fitness trainer and a boxing coach. I could do both. And I work out with my with my clients. Like I got a couple here right now. I got a couple clients right now. We working. We just working. It's just you know what I'm saying. We just warming up. But like I do this with a passion, and and I, like I tell people, I do it in my sleep. I love it. You know what I'm saying? So, so these two guys, these two guys here, you think they gonna what they gonna do? Box or just getting back in shape? Oh, they just want to get in shape. Okay, then so. Do you see yourself becoming a, a, a head coach? Yeah, in the future, yeah. Are you going to start with adults or are you going to start with the, the youngins? I see you got two two of them right here. So you going to well, turn them into boxers or? For sure. Yeah, they growing. For sure. For sure. Well, right now, like, I'm just on the journey. Like, I'm just aiming big right now. You know, I'm young still. I know I got time to come pick these kids up. Like I don't mind training these kids, and I know I, I and, and I also know I got the time to come back and pick these kids up. Like so, I just want to continue like on my journey, like just aiming big to open up doors for myself where I could be able to come back and uh, pull a hand. So all these you know upcoming trainers, coaches, or people that wanna become a trainer, coach, you got any advice for them? Yeah, just be consistent and do it from the heart. That's what's up. And you know what's crazy? A lot of a lot of people don't understand the, the hard work, the discipline that these coaches 
got to go through to make sure these fighters, these kids, these adults get the proper training to to um, better themselves in life and inside the ring or inside the gym just to, you know, become more healthier than, than a normal person is that don't understand the knowledge of this because some people go to school to become trainers and some people just go through the experience like like myself i didn't yeah. go to school to be a trainer but I, I i i had the experience to to pass out my my knowledge to these kids and you know i i watched you matter of fact if people don't even know i'm gonna tell a story here's my story y'all can't see me but i'm gonna tell a story teron is teron might have been the person that made me want to, to be a coach and also he gave me the inspiration to, to fight it was in this very ring almost like six years ago i did pad work with him <laughs> and he was slapping the shit out of me and i'm a, i'm older than him and yet he's still slapping the shit out of me like but you know that what humbled me and made me decide like let me get this one more chance and today i just want to say thank you man for sure but look though can i get your flash though i'm proud of him he came a long way i'm talking about man i remember i remember when he was when he, when he first started giving mitts he used to be slapping like this. Like <laughs> now it's just so crisp and pure life. And I I love what they got going on real deal up at Real Deal too, man. Thank you. Shout thank out to Real Deal for sure. Yeah, but this this just come back from, you know, our history in Cincinnati. Like we known from helping each other out. Like a lot of other cities, you know, they a lot of their gyms are are segregated. But we here in Cincinnati, you know, we help each other out. Like sure. me and Tehran are from different gyms. But me and Tehran are still, you know, we in the same lane, but at the same time, we understand the whole the whole respect. Like, you know, he do his thing, I do my thing. There's no competition. Yeah. It's just we just in the same lane, but there's no competition. Yeah, there ain't no competition because it's like it, it might be things I could learn off them. Right. Like they doing with they little amateur. It might be stuff. Like I tell him every time I say, oh, I seen something you did that I like, bro. Keep going, bro. I see the improvement. Like me, I, I ain't no hater, bro. Like I don't get into that, bro. Like I do this. Like, like I do this because this is what I love to do. This is what I wake up and do. You feel me? I don't wake right. up and think, go to a nine to five. This is my nine to five. Like this is my life. Like this is how I provide for my kids, you know? So like I said, I do it with a passion and I do it with class. You right. know what I'm saying? Like, like what we doing, what we doing, like we really be changing people's lives. Like it's people that really Absolutely. hit us up. Absolutely. Like they might not work out with us, but it's people really working out now because they what we be doing. And I say that to say this, like how we start boxing. Look, we got people in the projects like the Fay. They uh do they do a uh, book bag giveaway for the kids, and they they host boxing events every Friday. Uh, uh gloves up, guns down event. Oh, so you, you know? just gonna promote that on my channel? Okay, nah, I'm just, okay, nah, I'm just saying. Go ahead, go ahead, do your nah, thing, go ahead, saying, do your no. thing, do your thing. Now nah, I'm just shining light on what's going on, just right, what's right, going on. Like, right. I'm seeing this every day, you know what I'm saying? So I'm just shining light on what's going on, like, and I'm just saying, like, how our influence is influence outsiders. That's all I'm saying. I'm from the east side, so you think I could come up to the, to the <laughs> and record some of the fights, you know. Most definitely. I, I, I should have a pass. I should have a pass. I, <laughs> You know, I always. Used to, I used to stay. I used to stay in the Renatas when I was little. Oh right? yeah, so, always. You know, you, come on, I got I, more than good. You know, so y'all heard it. Teron gave me a pass. I'm from the West Side. Yeah, he greater than the government <laughs> check, y'all. <laughs> All right, well, we are gonna wrap this up because I know Teron. You know, fighters. I mean, clients got you know work to do, so I'm gonna let him get back to his day. So, For sure. Nice talking to you, Appreciate sir. Appreciate it, brother. Good luck on good luck on your fight this weekend. Yes, sir. sir every pound count, baby. Let's go. Team one.